Okay. Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? Let me bring the chat up. And I can see there's a few of you in there. I just didn't see names yet. Oh, we got lots of people. All right. So we have Sam. Hello. Vince. Hello. Megamoo. Hello. Desire Powers. Like the name. Hello. Hello. And John has joined us as well. And the other John, Dungeons and Glustics John, has checked in as well. If you haven't discovered his YouTube channel yet, do make sure to go and check that out. Fantastic builds. Really cool stuff. He's like me. He likes all the little finite details. So definitely go check out his YouTube channel too. Um, so today we are doing, based upon votes of our regulars in the chat, we're doing our mimics. I'm actually excited for these guys. I've been wanting to paint them and I just didn't have the time quite yet. Hello, Angel. Thank you for joining us today. So going to get these two guys done. Um, I will be using Vallejo paints for this. Uh, so I'll make sure you get colors and everything in the description below when this is done. It's not in there yet, but it will be. And hello, Julio. Julio did a fantastic job on a displacer beach. Beach. Oh my gosh. Wishful thinking. Beast. And he posted it in my uh, Facebook group. So that came out really well. I loved how you defined those muscles. Looked great. Uh, and Nathan just jumped in as well. Nathan, I checked out that kit that you're talking about. It looks like a good one. If you want to go and get that kit, that would be a great way to get started. Um, I did make sure to follow up on that one. So see, I kept my promises. Okay, so I have the keg mimic and I have the chest mimic, both from WizKids. Uh, so if you want to get these guys, check them out. Uh, again, I'll make sure there's a link to go and purchase them if you want them in the description when I'm done. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on getting the wood tones on these guys. And hello, Crispy Bacon. I have to say your full name just because of the plan name. Um, so, oh, we have a lot of people today. And Celtic Wolf has joined us. Hello, everybody. Hi, hi, hi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with two different color base browns for these guys. Um, the chest is going to be a darker brown. The keg is going to be a lighter brown because oak barrels tend to be a lighter color than most chests out there. So that's kind of where my thought process is going to be. So what's going to happen is the chest or no, the oak barrel is going to be beastie brown. I thought that was actually kind of appropriate. Hey, there's Jason from Realmsmith. Um, so we're going to start with this one for keg. I'm going to put that to the side. And then for chest, we're going to do terracotta. Yoink. There we go. So that's the plan for today. Now, if we get these guys done today, which I'm kind of hoping we do, I'm not sure. Um, I will make sure all the paints are there. For the ones that we use today, if I don't finish them, there will be a thorough list of what was used for today's video. And then if we carry this through into next week's live stream, I'll make sure the colors used for that one are listed in that as well. So we're going to start with my buddy, the Mimic Chest. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same color for highlighting both of them. So I'm going to round them off with the uh, tan. So there we go. No, Julio, you did really, you really did a great job with that. And what's funny is my husband commented on it first. So I saw you had posted because of that. But I was, I was really happy to see. You can tell you've been paying attention and doing your research. Nicely done. Highly approve. All right, so I'm going to go in with the chest and I'm going to start with the terracotta. And as always, I'm starting with my flatter brush here. I'm just going to. Now, I did make sure before painting that these got the whole wash them in. Well, I use Dawn dish soap. I'm also not being neat right now because I'm going to go back over and um, the edges here are going to be a different color. So those are not, I'm not so worried if I get some brown on those right now. Um, but I washed them in a bath of Dawn dish soap, like a drop and some warm water. Uh, this helps get rid of the release agent you can find on these mini somehow, sometimes, because what'll happen is um, sometimes the release agent will actually make the paint release too. You don't want to do that. So I always do recommend that you, Desiree. Oh, Desiree. Okay. Very cool. Now I follow. All right, so it's not desire, people. It's Desiree. All right, so here we go. Let's keep going with this. Uh, so then after that, what I do, especially with minis like this, because there's so many fun its and bits details, um, I will do a black wash first. And it's not a heavy one. It's very light. And this just helps me see the details a heck of a lot better. And it also helps me plan the details more when I can see what I'm working with. And let me know if you need the sound for the music turned down. I can do that. Hey, DCC. Okay, that's what I was just asking. Let me manipulate that a little bit more and drop it. 
there we go. Let's see if that's a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Ta-da! Phone isn't charging. Oh no! Crispy, that's awful. I hate when the phone stuff starts kicking in. Never fun. Ah, so let's see here. With me, what's been going on? I, 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 I have like two weeks to get ready for Mace now. I did get a message from John from Cripple God Foundry. He sent me pictures of the minis that we're using for the mini paint class, and they are gorgeous. I cannot wait. I absolutely, now you can't hear me. <laughs> Last time I fix it. Last time I fix it for you guys. We're going to go to the middle. Hopefully that works. <laughs> but yeah, he sent me pictures of the minis. I cannot wait to paint this dwarf. And the base he sent is amazing. Uh, it's not your typical base. It actually, it's going to be, um, it looks like a broken column and really cool uh, stonework detail along with ground and a couple of leaves. It's just, it's going to be lovely. So I'm going to see how it goes with these guys. If I get them done today, what I'm hoping I can do next week is paint the dwarf for you guys live. So you can see what I'm going to be painting down at Mace. Um, if that doesn't come around, so be it. Um, I'll probably just have to squeeze in time and paint him before I fly down the Mace. And if you're in that Charlotte, North Carolina area, November 9th through 11th, I will be there. So will Scotty, so will Wylock, so will DM Jim, so will Danny from 3D Tabletop Print and all that, like really, seriously, it's, it's gonna be a nice mix of um, crafters there. And uh, we're gonna be playing some games, doing some workshops on my end with the painting. Um, well, at this point, can you hear me? If you can hear me, that's kind of the purpose. <laughs> uh, thanks, Alan. So I'm going to keep going with this. And again, it's very lightly brushing this on. I'm not going, I'm not going for full super duper thick coverage because I don't want to do that with this wood. Um, I do want to bring out the details. I don't want to fill them in. And again, with these lovely teeth and horns, I'm not too worried about getting this brown on them quite yet because I'm going to go back in with another color and color up and over it. So really not too big of a deal. Right now, I just want to get that first layer of color onto them. So I'll paint this guy's wood first, and then we'll switch over. Well, thank you, Jason. <laughs> I like how we're getting the Canadian dollar switch over. $6.99. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. And almost done with this wood. I have a little bit on the other side, and then we'll put him down to dry, and we'll switch over to the keg. Now, honestly, out of these two minis, it's definitely the keg that's my favorite. He's so darn cute. And yes, I know it's a mimic and I know they can do some damage, but I still think they're cute. There was a funny uh, meme floating around. It was a pair of pants. And the joke was it looked kind of like they were a set of eyes and an open mouth type of thing. And it was, you know, mimics, they're everywhere. Let's see what we're we doing in here. <laughs> DCC was the technical problem. <laughs> Great. Uh, hello, Closet Geek. How are you doing? And yes, I just totally went Mrs. Doubtfire mode. Hello. John can do it too from Dungeons and Glue Sticks. I can speak from experience. So yeah, these these little paint these little minis I'm getting painted up this afternoon. Um, I'm actually doing a private mini painting tonight um, of this really amazing miniature that my friend DMJ, who's played in a couple games with me now, um, he got this mini made up for a mother who lost her son uh, far too early of an age. So a friend of hers had drawn up this amazing character of her son's character, PC, and um, Jay went and he got on Hero Forge, he got a mini made up to look like the sketch. So she and I are gonna sit down tonight and I'm gonna be painting this mini for her and it gives her the ability to give some feedback if she wants me to change anything with the mini, but it's also um, kind of special. So I'm, I'm looking forward to 
sitting down and chatting with her because as a mom, I mean, God, when I was first reading her story in the uh, Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition group on Facebook, I was in tears, absolute tears. So something I'm looking forward to do, you know, because I'm, I'm big about the pay it forward, do something kind for someone else with no expectations. So that's going to be a cool one. Now I will take pictures of it. However, I'm not going to air the hangout after it's done simply for sake of privacy on her part and her family's part. Okay. Do, 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 do. Just want to make sure I get a couple little corners here and then I'm going to put him down. Yep. Let's switch over to keg. Oh, I forgot to my water going. Let's see. Hit the camera. Don't hit the camera. There we go. Um, so yeah, that should be pretty cool. And then tomorrow, as always, I have my two games going. So if you want to see me as a player, I will be on Scraticus's channel on Twitch um, at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time playing Lieutenant Commander Elara Gibbous. And then in the evening, I'm going to be playing Cantriel on Mini Train Domain's channel. Well, channels, because he's on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. He does this cool simulcast thing. What am I looking for? Looking too high. And, uh, hey, Epic! And that is going to, uh, be at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we're doing Sunless Citadel. Holy crow, is that game fun. I'm really enjoying it. Okay, so now, Dust Kig, and we're gonna switch over to, I'm done with Terracotta, I'm gonna move over to Tan. Quick little shake. I mean, I've shaked these guys up ahead of time, but just to be safe, you never know. <laughs> so yeah, um, Thursdays, need to say, I very much look forward to my game day, as I like to call it. And uh, we're, uh, we're having fun as players together. And the cool thing about the one on Scraticus, it's called Argo 37. It is a sort of like, it will it, not sort of, it is Dungeons and Dragons in space, but we're using the Mage Hand Press skin. So it gives us different options in terms of, what is it, in terms of characters, races, uh, classes, weapons, armor, and then there's some really cool tech gear that's thrown in too. So if that sounds of interest to you, jump on over while we're going live at 1 p.m. or uh, he does have it so it goes up afterwards on both his YouTube channel and his Twitch channel for Scraticus. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. And I'm also making some really good headway with my two homebrews that I'm writing up for D&D in a castle. Really can't wait for that. And I got, I got, got news last night. There's three tickets left. So if you were considering maybe joining myself in Nerdarchy at D&D in a castle, you need to start acting fast because I'm not going to be surprised if these tickets are gone by Friday. And that's going to be really cool. Hey, DM Lair, how you doing? That's another cool channel. Go check out. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm really getting into getting my NPCs drawn up for each of the stories and I'm having fun with it and they're they're so divergent from each other it's hysterical oh I'm glad you've been watching it Dennis hopefully you've been enjoying it it's fun I'm playing with uh, DM Scotty there and Megan from Dice on Ice as well as Jeremy from Erasmus Expeditions all really great people all fantastic players quite frankly it's, it's one of my favorite games I can say that completely and unabashedly. Oh, let's see here. Ooh, the rings! That's gonna be cool. Oh, have fun with that, John. Pictures. I want pictures, please. If you want. Or if you want to keep them a surprise. I understand. Whatever. So yeah, I moved on to using tan for the keg because oak barrels are lighter in color. I didn't want to make them the same exact wood in color. Um... You know, because what fun is that? And again, it's uh, keeping my paints a little bit light. I'm not going for full coverage because with the black wash. <laughs> Welcome to the club, Jason. You just got the news. Yeah, I've been invited by Nerdarchy to be one of the DMs. Uh, I actually get the evening shift, which is fun because you get to have a little bit more um, one shot fun and freedom with them. Uh, and actually, Lisa Chen is going to be the other evening DM. And she's got some cool stuff planned as well. I, basically, like, we're, we, we're going to be off and running and having fun with the whole thing. Um, so, 
Yeah, if, if you guys want to go, you got to get to dndinacastle.com, sign up for the registration, but they have sort of like a staging process for the tickets, and certain stages get uh, first dibs, second dibs, third dibs type of thing. So just because of that, it's already down to only three tickets available. So if you want to go, you gotta got to get on that list. Or um, we can chat later and maybe I can provide them an email and they can reach out to you. We shall see. Honestly, at this point, I don't even know if they're still available. Because usually I find out in the evenings what's going on. But yeah, it, it should be a lot of fun. Um, my two homebrews are, one is very much a very dark and scary and kind of like, you know, Twilight Zone, Dracula, Hitchcock permutation of each other. Uh, and then the second one is basically more comical and lighthearted. Um, it's going to be taking place in a speakeasy. So I'm kind of jumping things up to the 1920s. But it's a different type of speakeasy. You shall see. It'll be fun. I do want to um, try and do a few test runs before I get into things uh, out in England. Because, you know, good to be prepared. So if that's something that is of interest of you, all of my patrons, whether it's $1 a month or higher up, all of my patrons are going to be given the opportunity, if they would like, to participate in um, what I'm calling practice runs. Uh, probably from like February through April, just so I can get a feel of things and see if there's things that need to be tweaked. So if that sounds of interest to you, get over to my patron Patreon page and become a patron. And then you two could come and play while I DM. It'll be fun. Should be cool. I'm excited for it. And uh, what else is what else is there? Um, oh, PAX, 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 PAX Unplugged. I will be at PAX Unplugged as well. Some of the supplies for the uh, class I'm doing uh, Saturday morning at 11 for some terrain scatter. They're starting to come in. I actually have to open the boxes. They got delivered. I just haven't had a chance to open them. That's how crazy it's been for me. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, but that should be fun. And then I gotta sit down and I'm gonna get all the supplies and everything put into like little boxes for everyone. So you're getting a basically a supply kit when you arrive. And we'll have some fun making some cool forest scatter. I'm looking forward to that. Let's see here. Ah, da, 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 da. Find time for your net to crash. Let's see here. Yeah. There was actually a power outage in my town last night, and I think our neighborhood is set up on a different grid because pretty much everybody was out, except for us, my neighborhood. It was really weird. Luckily it came back on because it got cold last night. I was actually worried about a few people. Kept saying, if you're getting cold, come over. All right, Jason, thanks for stopping by. See you at PAX. Oh, and by the way, there are a lot of guys named Jay with their names beginning with J. It's getting to the point where my poor husband, I'll tell him like all these updates about things going on, goes, wait, which guy, what thing? It's pretty funny. All right, Crispy Bacon, thank you for stopping by. I understand with the uh, battery dying, but that kind of makes things complicated. Oh, I have the wind blowing in the vents again, so I'm hearing weird noises. If I jump, it's because of that, and it was because I was watching a uh, scary stream on Scraticus last night. <laughs> I totally like, you know, haunted house myself. Yeah, I think at this rate what's going to happen is we'll get the base colors on these guys today and then next week we will finish them. Because we're already getting close to the half hour. That's the problem when you chat and paint. It takes a little bit longer. But that's okay because I have fun. I always look forward to Wednesdays and being able to chat with you guys and share things with you. Man, he's got a lot of nooks and crannies. All right. Let me get through here. Ooh, hold on now. It's an interesting shape. This is an interesting shape. Oh, here comes a kitty. Thunk, 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 thunk. This is where a flathead brush comes in handy. You can sneak under the other pieces a little bit better. Hi, Hemin. How you doing, buddy? 
you can't come up and play. Or rather, I'd not have you come up and play. Watch, she's going to just do it anyways. <laughs> Hello, big brother. Greeting and salutations to you as well. Always good to have you stop by. Okay, just pretty happy with that coverage. As you can see, it's like that nice light oak color that I want to go for. And then I'll do the uh, highlighting. Being watched. Yep, big brother is watching you. Dun, dun, dun. All right, that takes care of him. Now back to the chest. I'm going to go for the mouth now. So kind of the same thing with the colors. Um, their mouths are both going to be painted the same color, but there's a couple of different variations. I'm watching you. Always watching you. So we're going to get started with Gory Red. Gory, I tell you. Yes, you have a sweet face. I, I'm not arguing that point at all, dear Heaven. But you're not the star of the show. The mini is. <laughs> yeah, I like the barrel too. It's it's um, it's a little bit of a different, whatnot. Oh, don't be one of those nozzle clogged ones again to get out my uh, poker. Come on. Yep, it's a jammed. One tick. Let me fix this. <laughs> so I hit the camera again. <laughs> That's the one thing I do not like about this rig. It locks into everything, but this one thing and it pivots like crazy. So I got to find a way to um, make it stop. I think everyone encounters the chest mimic because that's what's most, there we go, most recognizable out there. Um, this one's thick. Hold on. Yeah, these are from WizKids and they're really cool sculpts. They're, they're very well done. I'm very, very, very pleased with them. Okay, so if you get paint that's a little bit too thick, what you want to grab is some airbrush thinner. It helps. Um, let's see here. Got an adventure where wigs are mimics. <laughs> That's hysterical. Wig mimics. That that sounds uh, quite dangerous, but very cool at the same time. All right, so I'm going to take... Actually, I don't want to use the same brush because I don't want to get this loaded with paint. I'm going to take a brush and basically just mix this into the red a little bit because that came out kind of thick, which don't want it too thick. Then your paints! But you also don't want to use the brush you're going to paint with, otherwise it becomes a gloppy, ugly mess. Brains. Ooh, zombie mimic wigs. Could that be a thing? That should be a thing. Next, not next week, but uh, two weeks from now, I'll share with you what I got for Mr. Man for his birthday, because that's coming up. But I was looking through it yesterday. Uh, I love it. It's one of those things where I think we're all going to be uh, sneaking peeks at it, even though it's technically going to be his and it is D&D related. All right, so here we go with the gory red. I'm just going to get this onto the tongue and the mouth bits. But what's going to happen is... Oh, this is a lovely red. Hello, Dolly. Um, after this dries, I'm going to go in with Warlord Purple on the tongue. And then around the uh, mouth details, I'm going to be using, where'd it go? Oh, it's right in front of me. Bloody red. So I'm going to kind of use a couple different tones on this for the highlighting and the bringing out the details. And again, things like the teeth around it and stuff, I'm going to do those afterward. Um, so I'm not getting too worked up if a little bit of red strays over, because again, this is base color stuff. Where it highlights, then yeah, I'd be going back in and removing it as fast as I could. Yeah, it, it is. It's um, it's great to have a lot of creative people sharing their stuff and showing off what they do. I mean, it's amazing just how you can have a similar, like, similar concept with vastly different approaches and and results, which I think is phenomenal. One shot of, oh, I missed something here. We got an adventure, wigs are mixed, and then we jump down. It's a one shot. Okay, cool. Barber of the Silvery Moon. <laughs> like the title too. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that caught me up. 
Yeah, I already got the titles worked out for my one shots. One is, uh, well, I got the one title figured out. I should take that back. The other might adjust. Um, but the one is going to be called The Last Air. And the other one, I'm still toying with it, but it's probably going to be speaking of witch, but spelled witch like, hey, I'll get you my pretty. Not witches in which one. Oh, this, this is a grand color. Good. Look at that tongue. Eww. No, I don't have nail polish today. Took it off. Mostly because my nails grow so fast I was getting annoyed with the gap that was left. So yeah. But it stayed on. It didn't chip. It was more my uh, neuroses, I guess, that had me pulling it off simply because I just didn't want to. All right, this has got an interesting angle. I'm going to try and get the mouth up in here. Hold still while I shove a paintbrush deep into your mouth. And again, I'm not getting too worried about hitting the teeth right now because I'm going to try to get the color in the back and then I'll worry about cleaning the teeth up when I go to paint them. Well, really paint them, not inadvertently paint them. Yoink. Come here, you. Almost. Almost. Horseshoes and hand grenades, almost. Okay. The name of this red is Gory Red from Vallejo. Everything's Vallejo today. And as always, I'm going to list all the colors in the description when I'm done. Oh, this is a good rich color red. I like it. Hmm, I want to get that angle, but I can't get to it. Okay, now I'm now I'm now I'm obsessing. This is where it's like you know three feet away. So there's his his reds are taken care of. And do the same thing with a keg. Yeah, it does. Definitely looks like it's tasted some adventures before. I agree, epic. It's a good. It's that's a nice vivid red. Which we're also gonna add to this guy's tongue. Dun, da, dun, dun. Da, 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 da. I don't know. This is just how my brain works sometimes. I don't know. It'll pop into my head. I have no idea why it does, but it's there and it'll stay there for a little bit. Yeah, well, it helps when you're working with a good sculpt. These are definitely one of my more favorite ones and I've had my eye on them for a while. And again, ah, stabby stabby, get the red in. Now obviously I'm not going to go like this when it's time to highlight, but that, which is also why I'm not being super duper neat right now, because I want to get this uh, layer of color in first and then I'll worry about neatening it up with the teeth and the edging. There's a method to my madness here, there is a method. Hmm. I'm going to jump down to a smaller brush, I think. Doodly -doo. Oh, nice. Good to hear you're painting some minis. You know, not like you have a mini problem at all with a whole bunch just sitting there waiting for you, John. Nothing like that. I can't relate. There's no stack of minis that need painting. My god, when we get the, uh... <laughs> Kickstarter sent our way from Reaper. That's gonna be fun. Well, right now he looks like a toddler mess, but it's gonna get cleaned up. Like I said, the edges of everything. Mimics make you leery about putting on your shoes the next morning, Helen. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Having children will do that too. And cats. You never know what might be in that shoe. What did I, I was putting my shoe on the other day and there was uh, a few Legos. That did not feel good. Thankfully, I had not stood up to put my shoes on because that would have been bad. All right, definitely gonna need the uh, paintbrush cleaner. Get that cleaned up. Shoe mix, awesome. Clogs, oh God, could you imagine? Those things could clobber you. Talk about bludgeoning damage. 
Hey, Fire High, I'm going to ask you to uh, please not use characters and to use the English language so everyone can understand what you're saying. Otherwise, you're gone. Not at all. That's why you bought more. Well, yeah, that's why I, I get more, too. There is no such thing as a mini addiction. <laughs> not at all. All right, I'm going to switch over to <laughs> trying to fight a sneeze. A uh, smaller brush and then what I'm going to do for the metal bands is I'm going to base it in somber gray. Children and pugs. Ah, yeah, that too will do it. Yikes. Ah, dinosaur? That's impressive. I think that's the first I've heard of a dinosaur being an issue. <laughs> you know, I got to say, DCC, I have never had that problem with a cat ever. And I've owned many, many a cat. So I can't speak for your cats, but yeah, that's not good. No, he still needs to dry. Switching over to the chest again. All right, so now I'm going to do the somber gray onto the metal details here. Oh, shoot, I forgot his upper gum line. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do this. I forgot. His gums at the top of his teeth. Oops. Stand by. Doo -doo -doo. Thanks for stopping by, DM Lair. Appreciate it. And again, those of you in the chat who haven't discovered that channel, go and check it out. No, really, go and check it out. He's a good one. Okay, that's better. That's so much better. Let's see, son is only young, but he likes to bring... <sighs> Aww. That's sweet, though. Okay, so now we're going to go back and we're going to get some of the somber gray on here. Back to what we had planned on doing. So this is going to act as the base color for the metal work, but then I'm going to go back in and use gun metal for the uh, next round. All right, so we're just past the half hour mark. Not too shabby. And then in terms of washes, I'm probably going to do um, a nice black wash again. Just to kind of help give the wood a little bit more of an aged look. As well as the metal detail. Plus, hey, let's, let's just highlight the creepy as much as we possibly can, right? Nothing wrong with that. But yeah, I've moved to a finer point brush. The little dude, I was going <laughs> to... I was going to say, that's probably going to sound like a really cool deal on his end. His dino buddy gets a cool thing to play with. That's cute, though. Thank you for sharing that story. Very sweet. Hold on. Spin the plate so I can get to the paint a little bit easier. That would help. Oh, my goodness. This dude has a lot of teeth. half debating to use one of my uh, crippled god bases for these guys because I have some cool ones sitting in the wings and I haven't quite found a good mini for them yet but these guys might do for a couple that I have in mind if I decide to go that way I'll show you guys what I end up doing with them for bases I mean they come with a standard just you know little black circle that WizKids does which is fine too but the um the plastic bottom base here covers the whole thing so I thought it might be fun to kind of do a little something extra if I can we shall see I may even change my mind once I get them done and realize, nah, let them be the focus of anything more than anything else. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, so if anyone watches the Monday game that I play on, uh, it's the Dragon Heist one on Mini Terrain Domain. We got a house. <laughs> Our 
PCs were paid for rescuing someone with the deed to a house slash tavern. And our DM, Mike, shared a picture of it with us. Holy moly. <laughs> it's a fixer upper. Should be interesting though. I'm very curious to see um, how it panned out. I'm not so worried about that red because it's getting covered up. So what's everyone going to be for Halloween? Have we decided? I used my costume on Saturday and I loved it. It was so much fun. Anna Valerios from Van Helsing. One of my favorite movies. I don't care what you say. I love it. Let's see, don't want to alter it. Oh, that's cool, you do a time travel game. That keeps it interesting, doesn't it? It's kind of like, um, oh, what's that game? The Strange. Played that as a once around with uh, Scotty as DM and it was really cool. So, I liked the concept of sort of jumping around modern day to sort of uh, fantasy. D&D type of stuff. I'm trying to remember what the other world was. I don't remember. But yeah, I like I like little twists like that. Keeps things interesting. <laughs> All right, the chest has a lot of metal on it. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint, there's a, hard to see, the bottom I'm just going to paint out gray. Da, 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 da. Still haggard, no idea how to do the beard. Um, Party City and Spirit, uh, the Spirit Store, was it Spirit of Halloween Store? I'm trying to remember the exact name of it. They had beards. I did see them. You check them out. Um, <laughs> I actually uh, made beards for my husband and the one kiddo because uh, Hubs was being Gandalf and the kiddo was being Gimli, but uh, that took a while and uh, it was cool. But So, okay, John, if you were Haggard, what did you do? Well, did you grow a beard? <laughs> yeah, almost back around. Art. Let me get the Waltham. It's it's literally just flat on the bottom. There's no sculpt to it, so I'm just gonna treat this as a metal bottomed chest. Cause uh, why not? That's what I'm hitting right now. Oh, that's right, Angel. I forgot you're gonna be doing the um, zombie family. Very cool. Make sure you put pictures up for that one because that sounds fun. Although I can make no promises that I'm going to look at them in close detail because I get squidgy around zombies. Just just a thing about me, just a quirk. I don't do well with zombies. I couldn't tell you why. You know, I'm fine hacking and slashing skeletons and things like that, but zombies? No, no thank you. I will happily go elsewhere if there's a zombie thing going on on the TV with hubs watching it. I just, I don't know why. Truly gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> like beyond what should be heebie-jeebie mode. <laughs> okay, moving up. Now to the lid. Yoink. Remember, when I concentrate, I get quiet. Uh, I don't like to jump right to a metallic as a base because I find you get richer tones by putting on a flat color and then moving on to a metallic using a dry brush method. That's why I don't go straight for a metallic tone. Um, it gives you more of the depth that real metals will give you. I find if I rely on the metallic paint, it takes on more of an ethereal look. 
or lighter look and I want it to have the weight of metal appearance to it. So that's why I do a base color and flat paint. So there's your answer. <laughs> no. Definitely not for me, Nathan. Walking Dead, are you kidding me? My husband, he was into it. I don't know if he's still watching it or if he's trying to catch up, but that'd be like, okay, you watch your show, I'm going upstairs and I'm reading a book. Nope, can't, can't do, cannot do. It's bad, I tell you, it's so bad. See, I like the psychological thriller stuff, you know? Give me like the who done it, well, basically Hitchcock type of thing. I love that kind of approach. It's not a trick. Is it? Oh, cool! I'll check it out in a little bit. John sent me a picture of what he looks like as Hagrid. I could be a brat and put it up in the group. Maybe. We shall see. Dun, dun, dun. Nah. We'll let him do it if he wants. <laughs> yeah, this is, um, I'm very happy with this meme. -me. It's got a lot of cool details, especially like these rivets. It's a lot of little stuff, no pun intended. But they definitely put in those extra little bits that really jump up the way the mini looks. Yeah, everyone's loving the haunting of Hill House. Um, but I have a couple of girlfriends who have watched it and we have very similar fear factors in movies and both of them are saying how they could not sleep that night and I, I want to sleep. <laughs> I want to be able to go to sleep at night. I don't want to be afeared. So, yeah, I, I, I don't know if I'm ever going to watch it, but I've heard wonderful things about it. Many people I know absolutely love it. But uh, I'm a big wuss and a scaredy cat with some things. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the um, eyelids with that gray as well. <laughs> Good ghost, ghost story, but not very scary. I might grill you more about it to find out about the content. How's that? All right. Now for the eyes. For the eyelids, I should say. This was one of those things where I was like, I don't quite know what to do for the eyelids. And as I was looking more at it, I realized a couple of the eyelids tied back into the metal bands. So I thought that might be a little bit of a better approach. But what I won't be doing is I won't be giving the eyelids the metal treatment. I'll do a dry brush of a lighter gray on them. Watch in the daytime, cried your eyes out. Really? Girlfriend hides and screams. <laughs> I can't say I can't relate. No, I mean, I can do the ones where it's like, um, not the gore factor to it, but it's like they just screw with your mind. Those, those are good. I like that. I like the ones that make you think and uh, make you question and, you know, the one you think it might be is not the one it was and so on and so forth. It's just, I don't know. Very cerebral kinds. <laughs> Nathan gets mad at them. Yeah. What is it? We'll watch um, Supernatural sometimes. And uh, one of us inevitably shouting, you know, shoot him in the knee, shoot him in the knee. And then I forget which episode it was and which season, but they shot him in the knee. And both of us were like screaming and laughing about it because it's like, finally, they shot him in the knee. Mm. Come here, you. 
A couple of finicky angles. It's actually tricky to keep it on camera and get the angles I need to paint. My hands are not used to these angles, so they're <laughs> troubling from it. <laughs> My hands are getting their workout today. Ding -a -ding. All right, almost done with his metal details, and then we'll move on to the keg. Yeah, this is definitely the base coat session, and next week we will finish them for sure. <laughs> this does that. Okay. I'm assuming we're still talking about haunted, haunting of Hill House. God, that tongue. Yeah. Oh shoot, if I didn't have that, uh, oh wait, who, who can I name him after? What's the guy from Kiss? I am totally blanking on his name. We'll name him after that guy though. I think that'd be appropriate and funny. I'm gonna say Neil Simmons, I don't think that's right. <laughs> Hey, I'm not, I'm, I like Kiss. I'm not a fanatic, so I don't know all their names and such, but I know their songs. Left here. Do -do -do -do. All right, cool. That gets his gray addressed. I actually need to get some more for this one. Again, it's a somber gray. Ryobi. Oh, yes. I know which glue gun you're talking about. I have been eyeing it. Um, I want to say my friend Sean has one of those. Gene Simmons. Thank you. That was going to bug me. I don't know why I couldn't think of the name. <laughs> Thank you very much for uh, posting that. You just saved me a Google search. Hold on, cat hair. Dang it. There we go. Bleh. <laughs> Me and sound effects? Never. Ever. I don't make odd sounds or voices or anything of the such. That That is the fun thing about uh, writing my own stories now is that a few of the PCs I'm or NPCs, I'm very much looking forward to uh, doing their voices up. Because I already have it plotted out what I want to do for a couple of them, and I'm excited. I really am excited to do that. We paint to, it would be great to paint bat wings around the eyes of the mimic. Well, if that's something you managed to accomplish, do make sure to share a picture of that one, DC. Gene the Mimic Simmons. I like it. All right, so we have Gene for the chest. What should we name the keg guy? Maybe Sam, like Sam Adams. <laughs> That's actually a good question. Who can we do for this guy's name? What will we call you? Bud. You could call him Bud. Cat, cat, that's cat mimic. That's sort of like a one and the same. <laughs> uh, I gotta laugh. Everyone's talking about their cool and super duper glue guns in the chat right now, and I have like this El Cheapo little one. That has served me well for 10 years now that I got at Walmart for like three bucks. If anything ever happened to it, I will be devastated. It'll be a sad day in the Muse crafting supply when that little glue gun finally says I'm done. That's for sure. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to correct anyways because I don't know. Peter Chris, the drummer. Barrel, ooh, okay. 
So Jean and Peter. That could work. That has possibility. Yoink. Oh, those fine details. I know I just pulled it out of the shot. Sorry. No, I actually do kind of like that. Gene and Peter. Although, no, we can't do Peter because of the Griffin. Hub's named the Griffin Peter. Yeah. So, yeah, that's not going to work. Back to square one. Well, at least for the keg. All right, thanks for stopping by, Epic Dungeon Tiles. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Have a lovely day. Sorry, guys, I'm focusing on this, and I'm like, no, keep it in frame. Get a Viking funeral in the pool. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I will, for fear of the pool will need a funeral after it does a funeral. Okay, keep going here. It keeps going and going. I was debating doing the bands in black first, but... I think I'm going to make this more fun and keep it more in the grayscales. Because I can. Because it's my mini. I can do what I want with my mini. Sorry, the youngest did not get enough sleep this morning. We're kind of on a whiny train. Chester. <laughs> no, the chest is already named. The chest is, is, is it's Jean. We need a name for this one. For the kig. I did have to turn the heat off. <laughs> Sucker was running and I realized that's gonna show up. In the video, it's going to make it hard to hear me. So my hands may start doing something interesting if it gets colder and I start to get cold. Fear not, if my hands go pure white with purple at the bottom, it's normal for me. <laughs> I was looking at one of those nice little heater fan things. I might get that for my desk because that would be helpful. But we shall see. Holy moly, they both have a lot of metal work on them. So I think what I might do, because we're getting close to going up on the one o'clock hour, what I'll do is I'm going to keep going until I get at least the base colors on these guys. And then next week we will finish them, will be the plan. So what I don't want to do is stop now while I'm on a roll getting the base colors on and then go back to painting the base colors and we run out of time for the highlights. So this is a twofer. Two part series. So you can add that to your calendar, set your clocks, whatever you so choose. You can see them getting finished up. And you're more than welcome to stick around, but I also understand if you need to get going. Budweiser. <laughs> Greg the keg. Ha! <laughs> Keegan like Kevin. Budweiser. You guys have some fun suggestions. I will have to consider all of these now. We shall see. While I'm gone at these conferences, conferences coming up, kids are super excited because they just got to uh, roll up some new characters because my husband's going to do a mini campaign with them. And they are jazzed up beyond belief because they get to do level 15 characters. So they're all wowie zowie. Look at the power I get and all these spells for the one and I forgot what the other one has in terms of weapons but I was like oh my gosh that's nuts but then I was explaining to me what he's going to be doing. I'm like, yeah, that, that actually makes a lot of sense. Those are good things to have. Looking forward to hearing what they do. 
because of how excited they are. Yeah. Fun angle. Another fun angle. <laughs> Maybe you married a vampire. Yeah, I don't do well in the cold. I have to be careful, actually. So if you ever meet me face to face and I'm shaking like a chihuahua, just remember I run cold. And once I get cold, I get cold. That or if I'm sleepy, I start to like, again, I get cold. And I do like the shaking thing. So I'm either too cold or I need a nap. I'm a chihuahua. How's that? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, Eric, thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a great day, too. Oh, these guys are fun. I really am excited I get to paint them up. So yeah, this was, I forgot to mention this with the keg guy, but I decided to make these tentacly things the same color as the metal because it looks like they're the uh, nails in the wood. So I thought that'd be appropriate to do that with them. Um, I have seen people do them differently, which is cool. It's fun to see the different takes people have on the same mini. It really is. <laughs> We're still saying goodbye to Eric. That's cool. Yeah. You guys are a fun chat. I enjoy it. It's nice to have some company while painting. In the deep, dark abyss of mounts. Wait, is that an eye? What is that? I don't know. Right now it's going to get the gray treatment. Because that, I don't know. I got to look at that later. I might just treat it as a little extra. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I can always fix it, luckily. We're getting there. My gosh. Creepy. Yeah, these are a good choice for uh, the whole Craftober, October Halloween thing going on can't wait for next week it's gonna be fun but I will need to stop next week right at one because it is Halloween and I gotta get a couple Halloween parades which is why I'm kind of carrying it through a little bit more today so I can get more done now and be able to stop on time next week You know, because it's kind of important. All right now, I know that these are eyes up here, but I'm actually just gonna go completely gray because then I can go back in with my daughter. Not daughter. Dot. Er. Bye, Closet Geek. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Nicer mini next time. <laughs> we shall see. It's actually a good question. Which do you prefer to paint? Monster minis or character minis? I tend to like to paint the monsters. I have more fun with them for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's the, the creepy factor to them makes it fun. Almost there. At least with the uh, panned around this part. What are you doing there? I just have this little, little wing, little wing strap one. Yeah, that's, I have Reynard's. Yep, that's my issue too. It's fun. Because then there's the reverse reaction of, you'll get like a sudden influx of blood flow and your hands turn bright red. Hey, Eric, how you doing? One Eric left and another Eric came in. There you go. Do, 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 do. Oh, I gotta get under that one, too. Lots of angles with this one. That's a fair point, Nathan. 
Yeah, there are some minis with crazy details to them. Cool. That's why it makes sense why some people take a little longer with those. I don't blame you. I'd want more time too. Uh, okay, so now I gotta get... You're probably not gonna see it, but <laughs> there's a bottom to this drop I need to reach. There's really no good way to angle it outside of this. And again, it's not like it's an angle you guys are gonna see with photos too much. Silver on that. Hold on. And we get my dot. The dotting tool for the manicure set. Love it. It's quite handy. Just now I just go. Oop! And ta da! Makes it stupidly easy. So now I'm going to flip back over to our chest mimic and we'll start working on the teeth. Let's see here. I'm just going crazy. Everyone, how you doing everyone? Eric wants to know. Oh, uh, where the monsters and the PCs are reversed roles. There are a couple of uh, campaigns out there that I've seen kind of floating around on DM's guilds. I don't remember the names right now, but that is a thing. And it does look cool whenever I see them being... Uh, spoken of or posted so on and so forth I actually did something where I was a dragon for one well wormling for one flew over the cockatrice's nest on mini terrain domain all right now for their teeth this is gonna seem weird but I'm gonna use khaki you know because they have like gross and gnarly teeth now, what's gonna happen is it's gonna get a uh, dry brushing of a lighter tone but it gives it like that neat aged look to the teeth doing that. No, I don't, I haven't checked out leather working tools because I have manicure tools on hand. That's why I use it. I had the tools there already. Eh, da, 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 da. Which one am I going to use? Do I use this one again? Possibly. Maybe. Yeah, I'm going to use that one. All right, so moving over to khaki. Time to paint the teeth. Which I am going to try and do a little bit more carefully now. Because I don't want these bleeding into the gum line too much, if at all. But that's why I said, don't worry about the red. It's not going to be there forever. Um, I don't know if I can yet. I don't have the affiliation with Amazon for the UK version. I do have it for the US, though. Kind of remind me of the beholder teeth. Like literally the teeth on the beholder mini. Now that I'm painting them. This guy needs braces. I kid. I kid, I kid. So there's the khaki on the Ampa Jampas. Technical term. Let me get the bottom. Oh, you know what? I'm not supposed to be the gum line. Hmm. Mm, I may have to go back with some more gory red. It's 
It's funny how sometimes you'll get more paint on and you realize what something is supposed to be when you thought it was something else entirely. Ah, well, it's paint. You can always go back in with it. Yep, I think that's supposed to be red too. Yeah, it's easy enough to fix. I'll get these guys and then I'll let it dry. I'll get the teeth and then I'll go back in with this brush once I um, get the other guy's teeth and then I'll fix the mist gum line on the bottom of the chest. Because I was thinking that was another row of teeth, which it is not. Yeah, so see, this is what you have around that works. Nothing wrong with that. If it ain't Baroque, I'm not answering that. Who's calling right now, anyways? Alright, let that dry. Let me get the teeth on this guy. A spork? saying call from my husband's place of work which means I'm definitely not picking it up because I know he's not there today between the kids school and my husband's job I always get very interesting phone calls during the day all right let me get these guys these are tinier Ooh, too much paint too much paint yeah, we'll just spread it around a little bit. This guy is gnarly. Got like little bitty teeth on that one part. Hmm, that's it for him with the teeth. Oh, and I gotta do the horns. I do the horns on this one. <sighs> We're almost there. Yeah, the uh, horns on this guy, they're also going to get the khaki too. You know what's up for getting something. I can definitely say this chest has a few more detail points than the keg. Just a few. I'll fix it in a bit. And again, same thing. They're going to be this darker color. Yeah, it is cool how they've used the bands to act as uh, like tentacle-like arms. It's a, it's a very clever sculpt. I like the uh, approach they took with it. It's one of those minis where you look at it and the more you look at it, the more you're smiling because you're catching all the little details they put into it, which is just awesome. So kudos to whoever came up with that particular design. You done did good. now too. Yee. Oh, he's a looker. He's a looker. All right, let me fix the uh, <laughs> the bottom issue with the gums. So I'm going to go back to the gory red, which don't forget was a little thick last time, so I'm going to have to thin it out a little. A lot. <laughs> and I'll mix it up again a little bit more. Just a couple drops of the thinner. It's amazing how it'll help. out of focus but right now I'm mixing gory red so it's a thinner consistency because right now it's almost like toothpaste for some reason there we go that's better all right so I'm gonna wash the brush I was just using and then I'll go back in um there are a couple really fine ones but where they were located I didn't want to chip off other details they're like hairline wood lines not too bad So 
now. Let's get these little bits that I forgot about. I know sometimes mold lines are in spots where I just I don't want to fiddle too much and then mar the mini completely. Plus it's, you know, one of those things where it just depends on how fanatical you want to get with perfect surface or if you're okay with, yeah, not everyone's going to want this super closely and it's just this tiny little nubbin of a thing. But I do like my Citadel mold line remover for that. That's a really handy tool to have around for when there are those lines where you just need to get them off. All right, there we go. Smile. Okay, got that done. Definitely gonna wash the brush. And I think we're gonna move on to doing the eyes. We'll get the eyeballs and then we'll call it a day and we'll finish them up next week. I think that'll be our game plan because that's really the one thing that's left is just to get the uh, oogly booglies. Yeah, this is an intense red. You stripped them completely. They came painted. I know. Bad habit. Sue me. <laughs> okay, so for the eyes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use dead flesh. I thought it'd be kind of cool to have like glowing, creepyish green yellow eyes going. Done with you. So that's the color I'm going to be using on these guys. All right, and we'll start with the chest. I'm debating do I want to use my daughter or my paint? I think I'll do a little bit of both. Some are going to get the paintbrush, some are going to get uh, the daughter. D-O-T-T-E-R. Not, I have a daughter, she is my child, daughter. But I thought this was a cool color for the eyeballs. Because look at that, it's like creepy and greenish yellow. Evil. Evil color. Maybe, who knows. I got my eye on you. Uh oh. Uh oh. I blinked and I strayed. second while I kind of thin that out. There we go. That's better. Okay, so eyeballs on the chest are done. So pretty much what this guy needs, he's going to need to dry a little bit. I'm going to do a brown wash on him so that come next week they'll be ready for some highlights. Now how is that an eye? I think that's an eye under there. That doohickey. <laughs> yeah, acetone is good at stripping things. Just be careful how much and where. That's not the one I wanted. This is the one I was working with. I just one I had already. I think this is an eye. Hold on, let me take a close look here. That's an eye. All right. Ay, ay, ay. Why would you want an eye under your tongue? Thought for the day. <laughs> Why would you want eyes under your tongue? Is this even showing up? Yoink. There you go. Yeah, we're steering into I might go to my dotting tool. My little handy dandy daughter. If 
I hold my breath. You think I'm kidding? I'm not. If I hold my breath, I can get that. Yes, highlights next week, Julio. Which you, again, great job. That was so awesome to see get posted. It really was. I had a big grin on my face when I saw what you did. And good for you to remember to take a, a before and after picture. Is that even showing up on the camera? No. thinking. It's a little right there. Okay. So his, its eyes are there now. That's tricky to do. I'm not gonna lie. That was a trickier one. <sighs> Let's see here. What are you guys talking about? I'm lost. I think you guys are having a side conversation. That's perfectly fine. I love that you do that. <laughs> okay, so I think... Let me just check. And right now I'm just focusing on the main minis. I'll, I'll deal with the bases in a little bit. But I think we got everything I wanted to hit today for the base colors. Do not know. I want to put some brown on that one. Because, did this dry on me already? Probably. Yep. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll do this one. Yeah. Let's go with that. I'm actually going to use some of the terracotta I forgot to do. A little nub up here. Glad I looked. There we go. That's better. So he is painted. He will get his wash. Whoops, these are all... Oh, the eyes. Yeah. That's just it. Like, why Why would that be a good feature? Yeah, he's a puzzlement. He's a puzzlement. So he's set and ready to start drawing. And then we have this bad boy. Also ready to set and dry and get their wash up brown. So tune in next week where I will finish them. And basically just do some highlighting to bring out the features and everything like that um, again uh, probably in a couple hours or so once I get everything pulled together I'll make sure the link or not the link but the description has links that we discussed it has the colors that were used today it'll have a link to the mini set as well um, so if you have any questions you can always ask in the comments uh, do keep in mind that when this gets stopped it turns into an unlisted video for a little bit that's again for some YouTube insanity <laughs> it happens and uh, i will see you next week same time same place same day different date where we're going to finish them up so i hope you all have a fantastic day have a fantastic weekend and hopefully you get to play some games paint some minis craft some stuff and you're always welcome to come over and find me over on facebook on twitter and on instagram so take care everyone i will talk with you later on on the interwebs have a fantastic time let me switch over to a different screen. And there you go. Bye!